Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. I'm a professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. Now you can read this forecast. You know what? I'm not writing this forecast out, so no, you can't read it there. So if you want to contact me, you can just click the live link right below this video in the information box. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk about December ast astrological information for the sign of Sagittarius. So happy birthday, Sag. You know, most of this month is about you. And you know what? A lot of the zodiac signs, a lot of the planets are in your zodiac sign. So let's get started. And this is a lot of fun for you. So Sagittarius or Sagittarius rising. On December 4th, we have a very wide, but by, by sign, we have a grand trine in fire. And so with Venus in Sagittarius and the sun in Sagittarius, you know, they each respectively make a a trine aspect to Jupiter and to Uranus and this is really good energy for shopping and this is energy for shopping in bulk so to speak because yes it is oh my god that's how that works you know the Sagittarius you've got Sag in your chart you're gonna buy things by bulk you're not gonna just buy one sweater you're gonna buy 12 because you want one in every color all right and with it Venus connecting to Jupiter it is going to do and encourage that same type of behavior. The issue with this though is that you might overspend right now for a little while. You're going to spend more than you probably have because you're just being, you're having fun shopping and you're going to buy people everything that they would ever want to your capacity, of course, but you're going to still, you might overdo it a little bit. Even with the sun making the trine aspect that it does to Uranus, that energy is all about just getting out there and just having fun and being really f socializing, really, when you go shopping and you talk to people and you're able to handle the crowds easily. Most of us, anyways. Maybe not everybody, but most of us. And so that's the energy of December 4th as it's building to this full moon, which is in your sign while well, it's in the opposite sign. Um, on December 5th, Mercury joins in the uh, this big old trine energy by making a trine aspect to Uranus because it's right there next to the sun right now. And so with Mercury and Sag, again, that's about moving out and about in your neighborhood and driving here, there, and everywhere. And it's also lots and lots of communication and conversations. Out of the blue, unexpected, fun stuff. But when all of that is engaged right now, all that Sagittarius energy, all of this fire energy, you know, we're very into having conversations with strangers or having a lot of talking and conversations and a lot of socializing. It's great for decorating. It's great for Christmas parties or Yule parties. However, whatever kind of party you have, it's great for that. And it's it's fantastic way to start the month of December. So those first few days in December are all about having fun and having parties and decorating and getting ready for the holidays. So enjoy and have fun with that. On the 6th of December is the full moon at 14 degrees of Gemini, which means the sun's at 14 degrees of Sagittarius. This full moon will be in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So what it would do is it will help you to focus on the things that are not working because usually the things that are working fine, we don't pay attention to that. You know, it just, it, it's just, we just go along our merry way and just do what we do. We don't really pay attention to anything unless it's giving us trouble. So if something's giving you trouble, the full moon will bring it to your attention in regards to your relationship since this happens in your seventh house and it will be, you will be able to hopefully easily move through the energy that is present. Move through what you need to move through by having a conversation, writing it out, sending it email, sending it text, whatever you do. Communicate what it is, your emotional need that you have that you're not getting met in your relationship. And that is the simple, in a nutshell, energy of that full moon. There is a written forecast on my website, nhastrologer.com. Go to the forecast, new moon, full moon page and you'll be able to read the forecast about this one, okay? To get more information for yourself. So I wanna move on on December 8th. What we have is, you know, again, Mercury and the sun, they do conjunct on that day. It's the day that they're neck and neck all month long. So that means they work together all month long. They're not individuals, they work together. And again, that's in your first house with Sagittarius rising. So with it in your first house, that is, again, identifying what it is you need and want at this point in your life. 
We need to identify that. Next, on December 10th, we have Venus moves out of Sagittarius and into the sign of Capricorn in your second house. The second house is going to be a focus for the rest of the month now, from the 10th on. So when Venus moves into Capricorn, the fun-loving, I want to spend and I want to spend money on everybody that I possibly can, is going to turn and be practical. She's going to say, nope. She's going to tighten this purse strings and say, we need to be practical now. You spent enough money on gaudy things or enough money on the things in bulk. <laughs> I love that sentence. Oh, because I know a few Sagittarius people that are like that. They buy things in bulk. <laughs> Anyways, I want to move on. All right. So with that Venus in Capricorn, it is going to, in the second house, Venus owns the second house. So with that Venus in Capricorn, in the second house, we're going to become a little more practical about how we're spending our money. And that's as simple as that. On December 12th, what we get here is Mercury in Sag makes a trine to Jupiter in Leo. And on December 14th, the Sun catches up and the Sun in Sagittarius will make a trine aspect to Jupiter in Leo as well. So from like December 11, 12, 13, 14, even to the 15th, these planets are playing with each other. It's very social. Get out there, have some fun. Get out there and socialize. Go to shops, go to stores, just have fun creating, have fun decorating. Just like December 4th, still for 10 whole days, we get this excitement about shopping and decorating and just the hub and the excitement of the holiday as it's building, even though the full moon has come and gone. It's still about having some fun. Now, the serious aspect of the month is on December 15th, this one has been with us for a while. Uranus and Pluto are in an exact square. This is square number six out of seven. The square started between these two in, Jan in uh, June 2012. The realness of it started in, in uh, 2008 when Pluto entered Capricorn. And the housing market here in the country started to do a little tumble. And then it went all the way to the bottom. We really didn't start doing much of anything as people, besides being in shock value, until Uranus kicked in. And Uranus is at revolutionary energy. It is all about thinking outside the box. It is a high vibration, a higher vibration. It is like, what are we going to do about this? We can't be treated like this anymore. We can't be lied to like this anymore. And so Pluto and Capricorn over the last number of years has been revealing the things to us that need to be revealed, breaking down the things that are not foundationally strong, which we thought were, and they're not, you know, like a banking industry and the mortgages and just all of that stuff. And if you were part of that, then, you know, what went away was meant to stay away so you could restructure and start things differently in a new light, in a new vibration, in a higher vibration. So this is a global transit, for real. But we, we have to work it in our own personal lives to make a difference, because you know I can't affect the whole world, but I can affect myself. And so what I, and, and then what I do for myself, and the healing, and the newer things, and, and the way I, I find my own independence, that's Uranus and Aries, through the challenges that I have to meet, that's the square. You know, it helps me to raise my vibration. I have less, I want less, I don't need as much. I don't need to be a part of this big financial situation. I earn what I need and that's what I do. And you can be the same way. And you, we are all doing our own thing in our own ways. That's just my example. So whatever your example is, you know, allow those things that have, have left they will continue to leave. We're at the very end of this anyways. So it's almost complete. And by the time we're done all of this, you know, it, it's, it's a process that took approximately three years. Um, the planet will have a higher vibration. You personally will have a higher vibration. And when we do that, then that is the change that this world is all about. That's the shift of 2012 that everybody was always concerned about, but it is a slower process than just a sudden shift. All right, so use that energy. So this is the on December 15th. So on either side of December 15th, we have a lot of fun things. So, you know, make it light, make it easy. This Uranus-Pluto square has been going on since, you know, to, like I said, 2012, so it's nothing new. 
We just, every once in a while, when they become exact in, a, in the square, we feel the intensity of it. And this just happens to be one of those moments when it's intense. So let's move on. On December 16th, Mercury enters Capricorn as well, again in that second house. So you're able to easily see, write down, or communicate what it is that you value to those around you. And you're able to get, actually get very logical about using your own skills and talents to earn a living. You know, because that second house is, is one of the things, is how I use my skills and talents to earn money, my own resources. All right? Next, we're going to move on to December 20th. At that point, Venus in Capricorn, there she is, all logical and practical now, making a square aspect to Uranus in Aries. That is an, is an interesting combination because they don't go well together at all. They're both cardinal, so that means there is something that's shifting and moving. So what does your logical, practical mean to you? There's going to be a shift in that. I know. What does that mean specifically? Well, you get your chart read and that will, will help you out with that. But also on that day, on December 20th, uh, Venus makes a conjunction to Pluto. Again, in your second house, what do I value? Your values have been going through a big transition over these last few years. Because it took, when Pluto moved into Capricorn, it would move into your solar second house. And that was 2008. So over the last six years, there have been some shifts for you. And every once in a while, there's some focus on it. You're used to it by now, but every once in a while, there's focus on it, like this, you know, when Venus conjuncts, or Uranus comes and makes a square to that Pluto in your second house. So your value system is changing, which is wonderful. You know, maybe you're becoming less materialistic. Maybe you're becoming more materialistic. Maybe you have a better job, so you're able to buy more things that you want and you love. That's fine, too. It'll vary from person to person. Next, I want to talk about the solstice. We have the winter solstice on December 21st. We also have Yule on that day. We also have a new moon on that day. So everything happens all within a couple of hours. So at 6.03 p.m., moon, uh, the sun moves into Capricorn. The moon moves into Capricorn at 8.25 p.m., and then we have a new moon at 8.36 p.m. So, the, so when the sun moves into Capricorn, that's the winter solstice at 6.03 p.m. Eastern time, please adjust to where you live and then we have a new moon within two and a half hours after that so the new moon is at zero degrees of Capricorn every new moon we've had in the last few months has been at zero degrees of that zodiac sign so that's the very beginning again that's in your second house so now you can set up and set down and place some goals for yourself goals related to Capricorn about your second house what that means is structure Capricorn is all about order and structure. So finding order and structure in what you value. Order and structure in keeping your finances in order. That's the type of stuff you can do. And again, when the new moon comes up, go to my website and read the forecast. There are much more details there. All right, on December 25th, Mercury will conjunct Pluto. Again, that is in your second house. We know Mercury's going through your second house, so that's all about communicating. This is on Christmas Day, so this is a day where there might be something going on where you have to have a serious conversation with somebody. It could be a family thing, since it is a holiday. It is Christmas on that day. A lot of people gather. If there's something serious that you need to discuss with somebody, you can do it on that day, as long as you come from a place of love and compassion. But if you have something to talk about that is a serious issue, um, something that is going to change everything, um, then you can wait because if you come from a place of fear, you don't want to do it. You want to wait. So do what you can in that regard. And, you know, and if somebody comes at you with a situation or presents you with a situation, don't allow fear to bring it to come up. Allow, just, just surround the situation with love and compassion. So it can, it can change a transition into something that is positive and something that does not create more fear. All right? And I'm not going to end the month on that, even though that is at the end of the month, because on December 31st, New Year's Eve, as we have the moon in Taurus, be responsible, be practical, be logical, be safe, but eat, drink, and be merry and have a great time. Because with this... 
What we have is, it's, it's, the moon in Taurus is all about those sensual pleasures. It's about food, it's about drink, and it's about having a great time. And this is what I want you to do. So, eat, drink, and be merry, have fun, and happy new year. And I just want to say from myself, from me, and us here at New Hampshire Astrologer, which is just me. <laughs> I make it sound funny. I want to thank you with all gratitude and with love and compassion and gratitude as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for allowing me to do my passion. I love what I do. I love astrology. And please come find me um, on the web, nhastrologer.com. Hey, I'm teaching classes online too, so you're welcome to uh, come and see if you'd like to learn from me as well. Thank you very much, and um, blessed be, happy Yule. Namaste.